Hello, I'm Hugh Lyman, and this is going to be a video showing how I made the Lyman level wind mechanism for winding filament onto a spool. This is uh, a uh, homemade video, so it's not very professional, so live with me, okay. This is the uh, level wind mechanism that is a redesign or refinement of the original uh, level wind that's used with the Lyman uh, filament extruders. Well, here we have all the parts for this level wind mechanism. Um, we have a mounting block, two and a half by five inches. <clears throat> we have the mounting brackets. There's two of them. They're identical. They go here. We have a uh, channel guide, and uh, that fits in the mounting brackets. And this is the filament guide that uh, guides the filament in this slot here. This is a Paul and it's a 5 8 peak plastic rod and uh, I machined it on a hobby mill and then I proceeded to drop it and break off one of the uh, the lips here but it works <clears throat> as long as you have it in the right direction so try not to be as clumsy as I am now we have the worm gear this is a tough part I printed this in two pieces. So they printed flat. And I used a, a 0.35 nozzle and a layer height of 2.5, which is quite a bit for a three and a half nozzle, I think. So it it has a little roughness as it scrolls the plastic down. And then the infill I did on this was 0.85. And they take the two halves and <clears throat> I attach them uh, using a um, ABS. These all my parts are ABS, by the way because that's the kind of filament I extrude on the Lyman extruder. The ABS solvent cement to glue them together, which makes it like one part. <clears throat> of course, you have to line it up and you have to uh, clamp it, hold it. I drill, uh, actually ream the hole out uh, with an eight millimeter drill bit, and uh, an eight millimeter drill bit uh, is not eight millimeters. It's like uh, seven point uh, uh, eight eight or seven point nine, and that makes for a pretty tight fit. And then I actually press this on by driving the shaft through the, the part. Now, what I want to point out here, this is a tough part to make, really. Uh, you've got to be real careful not to break off the sharp points of the, of the, uh, the worm gear units. And um, so the 
design on the computer is actually a spacing of two millimeters and uh, two and a half millimeters deep. Um, but when you get it through printing, it's always, you know, different than that by just how much you, it squeezes. So I have to dress it. And uh, the first uh, thing I do is is to is to make sure I get all any threads cleaned out of the grooves carefully, and uh, then I I have a thirty-second inch plywood that I have uh, a glued uh, sandpaper to wrapped around and then I, I start cleaning uh, these uh, grooves very carefully and then I'll use a, a file that has got a file on the edge and uh, clean them clean down the grooves so these grooves now are actually not two and a half, they're about two and a quarter millimeters deep. Okay. Then I, I take this and I dip it in the ABS solvent cement, which really makes it hard and smooth. Okay, and then of course it takes some sanding and it takes a little time, so be patient. Okay, uh, let's see, okay, the pulley. Well, I made this pulley in two pieces, a male and female, and they go together. Because when I made it all in one piece, the, the overhang, you'd have to have uh, support material. This was easier for me. Uh, when I printed the guide channel, um, I draw it with a couple of outriggers, little round outriggers, and that's what it looks like. Then I cut them off. But this, because it's ABS, had a tendency to warp a little. And, uh, of course, I'm using a, a heated uh, plate. I use a tempered piece of glass, and then I coat it with hairspray. It holds really good. But this guarantees me that it's not going to warp. So it's good and straight. So now let's see, we've got everything here. Oh, we have uh, uh, this, uh, this is, this eight millimeter shaft is, um, is six and uh, a half. Could be a little shorter, I think, if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm six, six and a half. No, I'm six and three eighths inches. That's nominal and four mounting screws. Okay, so let's uh, put this hummer together. side because that's going to be my bearing. From the original 
<coughs> level wind mechanism, I used a ball bearing and uh, eliminated the ball bearing, which is always a pain. Okay, put that one on. Finish this up. Just uh, put it on a little bit because I might want to take it off yet. And uh, hey, we put the ball in. There we go. Now, how's that? Huh? There it is. Now, let's uh, let's see how she works. Turn it around so. I See, the <clears throat> guide goes back and forth, oh, 10 turns, moves it all the way, okay, so when you're uh, extruding and filling a spool 3 inches wide, um, takes about 25 loops uh, to cross the 3 inch spool diameter and you have 10 turns so it's going pretty slow um, if you're extruding 2 feet a minute you're going to take a turn about a third for every loop and it's going about that speed and you certainly want it to continue to work when you're extruding filament so that you don't have any hiccups during it. Okay, so um, now I'm going to mount it on the extruder and the next section will show you it working. Alright, here we have the um, level wind mechanism mounted and uh, we're extruding filament and winding it on the spool. Um, you'll notice the uh, Ball and the guide is over here. It's going this way. There's an arrow on the top of my pole to show which way it's going. And by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, this pole uh, made out of peak plastic. I drill it out and fill it with about two ounces of lead to give it some weight to hold in place. Now you'll see over here the um, filament winding up in perfect le perfect rows or winds I should say and uh, it will uh, wind that perfect for about three or four layers and then it will get off a little bit but uh, it will level wind all the way to fill the whole spool uh, now you can you notice the mark on the pulley you, you, you can see it uh, how slow it turns and you can see the uh, spool turning so that's my uh, demonstration and uh, uh, thanks for watching have a good day bye bye